Welcome to our guide on Japanese nightlife etiquette. Whether you're planning a trip to Japan or just curious about the culture, these 12 unwritten rules will help you navigate the vibrant nightlife with ease and respect. Imagine stepping into a world where neon lights dance on bustling streets, where laughter spills out from cozy izakayas, and where the night is alive with a unique energy. That's the magic of Japanese nightlife, a world that's both exhilarating and a little mysterious. But just like a well-organized draw brings a sense of calm, understanding the nuances of Japanese nightlife etiquette can enhance your experience and spark joy in every interaction. Let's embark on this journey together, shall we? In many cultures, tipping is a way to show appreciation for good service, but in Japan, it's a different story. Tipping is not customary and can even be considered impolite. The Japanese believe that good service is a given, a natural extension of their hospitality, not something that needs to be rewarded with extra money. Instead of tipping, you'll often encounter a charming practice called otoshi. Imagine being seated at a cozy table, the aroma of delicious food filling the air, and then a small, beautifully presented dish arrives. This is a toshi, a small appetizer that's brought to your table as part of the service. It's like a little welcome gift, a gesture of hospitality to start your evening. So when you're enjoying a delicious meal or sipping on sake in a lively izakaya, remember to resist the urge to tip. Imagine this, you've stepped into a lively izakaya, the air buzzing with conversation and laughter. You settle into your seat, ready to unwind and enjoy the evening. But when the server approaches, a sense of indecision washes over you. What to order first? In Japan, there's a customary flow to starting a night out, and it often begins with beer. Yes, you read that right. Even if you're not a beer enthusiast or have your heart set on a different drink, ordering beer first is a social ritual, a way to break the ice and signal the start of a fun evening. Think of it as a toast to togetherness, a way to say kanpai, cheers, and kick off the night on a convivial note. Once you've had your initial toast, feel free to venture into the world of sake, shochu, cocktails, or any other drink that tickles your fancy. So, when in Japan, embrace the art of starting your night with beer. Have you ever dreamed of stepping into a world where drinks flow freely? In Japan, that dream becomes a reality. With Nomihudai, all you can drink, bliss. Pay a fixed price up front and enjoy unlimited drinks for a set period. Explore a variety of drinks without worrying about the cost. Relax, enjoy your friend's company, and sip to your heart's content. Just remember, there's usually a time limit, typically 90 minutes to two hours. Keep an eye out for Nomihudai, your passport to unlimited drinks and fun. Imagine yourself in a bustling izakaya, the air thick with the aroma of grilled yakitori and lively chatter. You're ready for another round of drinks, but the server seems to be nowhere in sight. In Japan, there's a more subtle approach, the art of sumimasen. Sumimasen, meaning excuse me, is your go-to phrase for getting attention. Use it to call for the server, ask for the bill, or inquire about a dish. Remember the power of sumimasen in Japanese nightlife. Imagine this, you're seated in a cozy Japanese restaurant. The tantalizing aromas of unfamiliar spices filling the air. You open the menu, eager to explore the culinary delights that await, but a wave of bewilderment washes over you. Pages filled with kanji characters, unfamiliar dishes with intriguing but undecipherable descriptions. It can feel like navigating a labyrinth of culinary secrets. But fear not, for there's a secret phrase that can unlock the treasures of the Japanese menu, osu sume wa. This simple question meaning what do you recommend is your passport to a world of culinary adventures. Asking for recommendations in Japan is not just acceptable, it's encouraged. The chef's recommendations are often based on the freshest ingredients, seasonal specialties and their own personal favorites. So when faced with a daunting Japanese menu, Take a deep breath, embrace the spirit of adventure, and ask Osusumwa. In the elegant symphony of Japanese dining, chopsticks are not mere utensils. They are extensions of your hands, instruments of grace, and symbols of cultural heritage. Mastering chopstick etiquette is like learning a delicate dance, showing respect and appreciation. While it might seem daunting, fear not. With practice and cultural awareness, you'll navigate chopsticks like a pro. 
Remember, chopsticks are for picking up food, not spearing or playing. Avoid passing food from chopstick to chopstick. It's taboo. Instead, place food on a separate plate before offering it. Imagine this. You're enjoying a delightful meal in a cozy Japanese restaurant, but as the plates pile up, a dilemma washes over you. How do you indicate you're full without offending your host? Use the phrase, onaka apai, meaning my stomach is full. It's your secret weapon for enjoying the meal and respecting customs. Remember, onaka ipai shows appreciation and enjoyment. In Japanese culture, expressing gratitude is an art form. After dining, the phrase gochisu sama deshita reigns supreme. It means thank you for the delicious meal, acknowledging the effort and skill. Imagine finishing a delightful meal, your senses tantalized. This is the perfect moment to say gochisu sama deshita. It's like offering a heartfelt bow of appreciation. Remember the power of gochisu sama deshita. In the vibrant tapestry of Japanese nightlife, the night is often a canvas for multiple acts, each with its own rhythm and flavor. And as the curtain falls on the first act, a new adventure awaits the enchanting world of Nijikai. Nijikai, literally meaning second party, is the quintessential Japanese art of extending the night, transitioning from one venue to another and keeping the convivial spirit flowing. And imagine this, you've just enjoyed a delightful dinner, your heart warmed by good food and laughter. But as the evening is still young, a sense of adventure lingers in the air. This is the perfect time to embrace the allure of Nijikai. The second party could be anything from a cozy izakaya to a lively karaoke bar. It's a chance to shed your inhibitions, embrace the unexpected, and create memories that will last a lifetime. So, when you're planning your next night out in Japan, remember that the night is still young even after the first venue. Oshibori, a refreshing ritual of cleanliness. In the intricate dance of Japanese customs, even the simplest gestures are imbued with meaning and intention. And when it comes to dining or enjoying a night out, the humble Oshibori stands as a testament to their dedication to cleanliness and hospitality. Oshibori, a small, often rolled up towel presented to you upon entering a restaurant or bar, is more than just a way to clean your hands. It's a ritual, a symbol of Japanese hospitality and a refreshing pause before the culinary journey begins. Imagine this, you step into a bustling izakaya, the air filled with the tempting aromas of grilled delicacies. As you're shown to your table, a small, neatly folded oshibori is presented to you. This simple gesture speaks volumes about their commitment to creating a clean and welcoming environment. So the next time you're in Japan, pay attention to the small details like the presentation of an oshibori. Otsumami, the perfect companions to your drinks. In the lively symphony of Japanese nightlife, where drinks flow freely and conversations spark with laughter, Otsumami takes center stage as the unsung hero of the evening. These small savory snacks, often served complimentary with your drinks, are the perfect companions to enhance your enjoyment and keep the good times rolling. Imagine this. You're nestled in a cozy izakaya, the gentle clinking of glasses filling the air as you raise a toast with friends. Alongside your drinks, a small plate arrives adorned with an assortment of bite-sized delights. These are otsumami. Otsumami can range from simple bowls of salty edamame beans to more elaborate creations like grilled skewers of yakitori. They're meant to be shared, passed around the table and enjoyed as conversation starters. So the next time you're savoring a drink in Japan, pay attention to the small plates that grace your table. Karaoke finding your voice in the third party. As the night deepens, there's one destination that calls out, the karaoke bar. This is where inhibitions are shed, hidden talents revealed, and the night transforms into shared laughter and unforgettable memories. Karaoke, meaning empty orchestra, is more than entertainment. It's a cultural phenomenon and a way of bonding. With a microphone in hand, you can be a rock star, a diva, the stage is yours. It's about embracing the joy of music and sharing the experience. Until next time, Kampai. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you enjoy Japanese nightlife to the fullest, from the subtle art of summoning service with a gentle sumimasen to the joy of sharing otsumami with friends. Embracing these customs will unlock a deeper level of connection and appreciation for this vibrant culture. 
Remember, navigating Japanese nightlife is like learning a beautiful dance. It's about moving with grace, respecting the rhythm, and finding joy in every step. So go forth, explore, and let the magic of Japanese nightlife sweep you off your feet. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more cultural insights and travel tips. We'll raise a glass to that. Kanpai!